So rectus femoris, going to the quadriceps four muscles, rectus femoris crosses at the hip joint, and that's that nice split. When you're shredded and you see that incredible split right down the middle of the quads, that middle middle head is the rectus femoris, okay? When you talk about the, the teardrop, that's the vastus medialis. When you talk about the outer suite, that's the vastus lateralis that gives you that nice sweep that width on the quads, the teardrops, the vastus medialis. Well, rectus uh, uh, femoris, actually, there's a lot of studies that show leg extensions are the best exercise for rectus femoris. Um, one of the reasons why, um, there's an old biomechanics set, uh, um, um, paradox called like the Lombard's paradox. And basically what happens is like when I'm squatting, you kind of have like the glutes extending you, but you also have like the rectus fem femoris which essentially is a hip um, flexor. So it, it's kind of countering the action of the hip extensors. So what happens when you're like doing squats, your body regulates that and doesn't allow the flexor component, which is the rectus femoris, to fully activate. But what if I'm doing seated leg extensions, there's no antagonist activity to seated leg extensions. So I can actually activate the rectus uh, femoris uh, fully. Now, what most people don't also think about, um, you know, is I, I've also found one of the best ways to shred and dice up the rectus femoris is like hanging leg raises. Hanging leg raises is a hip flexor movement. So if you like superset leg extensions with hanging leg raises, you actually um, uh, hit that, that center quad quite well.